Good afternoon, folks. I'm Rupa Pernis here. What do we got here? A can of Hormel Chili No Beans with a Best Buy date of November 2016. Well, folks, I think it's time to crack this can open and take a gander at what's inside and feed my lovely little tummy some chili. Now, it's the number one chili in America, folks. I don't know if you've had this before, but I could swear that the MRE taco filling is this product right here. So let's take a look at the nutritional values. Now, as we all know, canned food does degrade over time, if not spoil, because of bad seals. Now, this one here has a one side crimp and what I like to do is I'll take all my stores and store them just like that for about six months so I know that that seal is a good one and I've had a couple products go bad one is uh, ocean spray cranberry jelly uh, I've had about four from a case go bad they leaked and I've had several cans of a uh, well-known evaporated milk company go bad. I think I have a video of that. If I remember, I'll put it in a description so you can go back and take a look. But I'm old and I forget, so if not, just go back and search my videos for can failure. Hormel is a pretty good company. And I've got several of their products that's canned. So take a snapshot of that right there, folks. Now what I'm going to do with this is open it. And we'll take a small taste test. Because I have to prepare everything else in order to make my lunch. And then put this in a container. And refrigerate what I don't eat today since it's two days before, before Christmas. And I'm not really too particular about what we're having for Christmas, so this might be a snack later today and uh, tomorrow for lunch. That should take up about two-thirds of it. I usually have about two tacos burrito style with cheese and some sour cream. Heat it in a microwave and scarf that right down for my lunch. Because I tell you what, folks, I don't throw food away. You could, When you walk by my table, if I'm at a restaurant and I, I eat everything as in the Navy, when I was in boot camp, of course my father was a Marine, and so was my mom. <clears throat> she had been discharged after before I was born, but when they served food at the table in our kitchen, you didn't get up unless that plate was empty, and you didn't put a bunch of food on it that you weren't going to eat because we were. If you if you know anything about military pay, back in the 60s, uh, you weren't wealthy for an enlisted. So when Dad went to the grocery store, Mom went to the PA commissary and brought home a month's worth of food, uh, you know, we would eat everything that was put on our plate. So today, I don't I don't go to buffets and load up on food. I know that I'll eat a little bit and eat, eat until I'm full. But uh, needless to say, folks, there are people out there who would just clamber over the fence to get to this can of uh, Hormel chili, so I'm not going to throw it away. And that's that's in, that's in re with respect to folks that don't have anything this holiday season who will find themselves uh, hopefully in a church or a place where they can get some yummies because I, I, I went once to serve food at a, a charity organization and, and you know you just want to give everybody a hug and a big piece of apple pie tell them it'll get better later and find out you know later that they had been they just they just they died. Um, so in saying that, folks, let's uh, crack this can open and take a look. I love these pole tops. They sure save you a lot of trouble. It is hard to do with a recording device in one hand and a telephone. So let me uh, I'm gonna come back. I'll have to stop this video for just a moment. All right, folks, we got the top off and by Joby, look at that. And let's take a smell test. And the smell test says that uh, this is going to be yummy. Can of Hormel 
no bean chili. Best Buy date, as you remember, 2016. It's not any discolored. It's not. There's nothing wrong with this can of food, folks. I'll tell you that right this minute. It may have lost some nutritional value, but I tell you what, if you're hungry, you're not really caring about uh, that. All you want to do is fill your stomach up so you can scavenge for more food if you have to scavenge. Uh, if you eat, you throw, throw a big old cup of rice in this with a, some other ingredients that you scavenged up. Your tummy's going to be full, and you're going to be out to be able to go out there and live another day. So I'm going to put this on a I'm going to put this on a uh, on a burrito. Add some cheese, find some sour cream, and we're going to have a lunch. So just a moment. All right, folks, we have the uh, food ready to go into a dish to put it in the microwave because you do not want to put this can into the microwave. Gonna give ourselves a nice healthy amount. I'm trying to watch this through the view screen. I think that's enough. We have a over there. And we have some sour cream from a famous fast food restaurant that I talked about once. Put it in the microwave for just a few seconds on high. Won't go very long. All right, we got it warmed up. You don't want to put it in too long because it'll splatter. And we'll put it on the um, heat that up just a little bit more. I don't think it got that warm. There's Eddie in the background wanting to know why he's not in the video. Mmm, well, that's good. Got a little taste test there, folks. If anybody ever questions about food and storage, just remember, don't let it freeze and don't let it cycle temperature-wise. Alright, we gave that a bit of a few more seconds in the microwave to get it all nice and Heat it up through and through. I want to melt that cheese. I want to put the phone down and put it out. All right, we got a little bit spread out, and then we're going to go and put some sour cream on there. One sec. I don't know what those food engineers at that restaurant chain, fast food restaurant chain, were thinking when they designed that pouch, but it ended up more on my fingers than it did inside the burrito. All right. Okay, folks, we're going to put it in the microwave for just a few more seconds, and uh, we're going to let you know what this guy tastes like. Nothing like a... Nothing like it. I made quite a little mess. Yes, Eddie, I know. Hey folks, and there's my lunch, 2016 expired burrito. And that folks is yummy in my tummy. Everything that you expect that can to come out, it came out exactly like it's supposed to. And when you think about it, folks, you know, you can make your own tamales, make your own tortillas, make your own tacos, taco shells. Uh, one of these days I'll do a video on the uh, tamale press that I bought. But in the meantime, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this nice, delicious meal. I could put some hot sauce on it, but I don't know where it's at. No canned flavor, no tinniness. Everything just works out perfect. Now, as you already know, if a can is bulging, throw it away. 
Don't even bother trying to open it up because the nasty is inside wanting to get out. And there's no, you can't test for botulism without using petri dishes in a laboratory environment, folks. Almost done. And like I said before, if it's in a can, it doesn't mean it's bad just because it passes by the expiration date. Like I said, if it's leaking, throw it away. If it's bulging, throw it away. So we're going to give this food uh, taste test a 100 plus, 10 thumbs up. And I want you folks out there to have a very good holiday season. Drive safe. If you don't need to go out, stay home. If you're with loved ones, give them a big hug. And we'll see you next year, folks. Admiral Preparedness here. Bye.